Let's say you're asked to factorise fully this expression. Now, quick note, sometimes you're just asked to factorise, sometimes factorise fully. Fully usually means that when you put it in brackets, this thing will have more than one um, term, so it'll probably have like a coefficient and a term, so it could be like 7y, or it could be 2p, or negative 3x, anything like that, or it could even be two letters like x, y, or, or anything like that. Um, so that's what factorise fully means, but we're going to just do it in a really similar way to how we factorise normally. Remembering factorising is putting something back into brackets, saying what the common factors are, and we do that with algebra tiles by just creating this expression in tiles. So let's move this out of the way. I've got two of these, and I've got three... Four, five, six, seven, eight of these. Now I'm going to make a rectangle. Clearly, I could just put it all in one line, but as we said last time, um, or we could, but actually, this won't factorize it fully. The best way always to factorize it is to do it in such a way that makes it have it as high as possible here, in the sense that if you can have it, that there's a pattern of more than one of the same thing on top of each other, do it. In this case, if I just put them all in one line, then my height, oh, obviously you can make yours a bit more of a line, but my height here would be x, and my length here would be 2x plus, what have we got? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Oh, that's wrong, there's meant to be 8 of those. 8. Okay, plus. Eight. Okay, and that is true, that does make a rectangle, so I can say that it's x times 2x plus 8, but I would not get the full marks, because just like when you have to simplify a fraction, you need to simplify it to its simplest form, you need to simplify it fully, this you need to factorise it fully. So, I'm going to have a little look at doing that. So I'm going to take these same tiles, let's move this out of the way. Okay, so, I've actually seen that I can put them in two groups, oh, let's just get that right out of the way, here, if I split these evenly, here, let's have a look, let's put this into a rectangle, and I'm going to put these, as you notice, the pattern's got to be the same on top, otherwise it wouldn't be a rectangle, for example, just that wouldn't be a rectangle, has to have this as well. So this is now a rectangle, its height is higher than before, that's good, in fact, this is the height as high as we can go, because although it looks like four of those is worth the same as one of those, remember this is an unknown. This could be worth 17 of these for all we know. So this height here, well, each height there is worth x, x, another x, that's 2x. And here you've got x and 4, and it's positive 4 because it's the coloured side. So here you'd write 2x multiplied by x plus 4. If you want, you could have 2x x plus 4, but you don't need to if you don't want to.